Auxiliary equipment and maintenance work. Centrifugal separators. Let us see in detail about working principle, construction of purifier used on board ship. Principle of operation. Oil, water and other impurities are of different density. Whenever the oil is subjected to centrifugal force heavier particles, water and solid, will be thrown outside. And lighter particles will remain close to the center. Construction of purifier on ships. Exterior framework. The exterior framework is normally made up of cast iron which supports the internal bowl and disc parts and carries water line, feed line, and outlet line connections. Bowl hood and sliding bowl. There are bowls inside the frame, which can be a solid assembly operating non-continuous and have space enough to retain the separated sludge. There can also be an arrangement in which the upper and lower parts are separated for discharging the accumulated sludge by continuous operation. These parts are normally made up of high-tension stainless steel. Sliding bowl. Sliding bowl lifts when operating water is fed by covering the sludge ports. And sits back when operating water is removed and sludges are removed. Conical disc number of conical discs are fitted and covered by the conical hood. Distribution holes are also provided in those discs. The disc stack consists of a large number of vertically arranged conical individual discs. Bars mounted on these conical discs keep them spaced apart to produce gaps between the discs. The disc stack is used to separate the product stream of oil into many partial streams. Gravity disc. The main component of purifier is correct size gravity disc or dam ring which is responsible for maintaining an interface between oil and water. Gravity disc is fitted at the heavy phase outlet, water outlet. Oil pairing disc. It is a stationary impeller mounted in a light phase outlet. Its function is to convert the rotating energy of the liquid into a pressure head. It is also called a centripetal pump. Water pairing disc. This pairing disc is fitted beneath the bowl and manages bowl opening water and bowl closing water. Vertical shaft. The vertical shaft is used to transform the electrical motor output into rotational motion for rotating the bowl at high speed through a worm gear and horizontal shaft or belt. The material used for vertical shaft construction is an alloy of steel. Attached gear pump. The general construction of purifier on ships consists of a horizontal shaft driven attached supply. Or discharge gear pump. It is also known as a feed pump of the purifier. In some system, an external supply pump may be installed in place of the attached pump. This pump supplies dirty oil to the purifier. The horizontal shaft or belt drive. The electrical motor drives the horizontal shaft through the clutch pads. And is used for transmitting the rotational motion to bowl assembly. A special belt having elastic character is used in some models in place of the horizontal shaft. Thus removing the use of the gear assembly. The horizontal shaft material is a special alloy of steel. Worm gear. A worm gear is placed between the horizontal and vertical shafts for the transfer of rotational motion. The most common worm gears are made with a brass wheel and a steel worm. Clutch or friction pads. An electric motor will get overloaded if it is connected directly to the bowl assembly for the rotation of the same as the complete assembly is very heavier. To avoid this, clutch or friction pads and drum assembly are installed on the horizontal shaft. Normally the number of pads varies from 2 to 4 depending upon the frequency supplied to the motor. As the motor starts, the pads inside the drum move out gradually due to centrifugal force and cause friction in the internal wall of the drum resulting in rotation of the shaft and the bowl gradually without overloading and damaging the motor and gears. 
The purifier brake, which is provided near the gear at the bottom of the purifier, must be in the release position. If the brake is not released, the purifier will not reach its required speed and the motor current will increase. Moreover, this will also cause wear down of brakes.